Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers, and today we are going to be painting this super simple cat silhouette. Um, it's going to be like a absolute beginner painting for sure. So um, this is the new June schedule. The paintings are going to be doing for June. So next week's the hummingbirds, and it's, I think I'm going to do like palette knife, um, and then these two. Uh, this is not supposed to have pink in it, it's just, I printed this up. <laughs> but, um, we're going to be doing this cat today, so if you've, like, never painted before, this would be, like, perfect. There's not a whole, um, lot of different colors, and there's not a whole, a lot of brushes you need either, so that makes it super simple. So, the colors are Titanium White, a Vermilion, and Mars Black. I don't use this color a whole lot, but... I thought it looks, you know, good with this painting. It looks very close, so decided to use it. And the brushes are a, I think this is a one inch bright, just for the main filling in, and then a three eighths inch angle brush and a one fourth lunar blender. So this is like all bandaged up. <laughs> got cracks and everything. It doesn't look so good, but that's the only one I have in that size, so it's the one I gotta use. Um, this is a 9 by 12 um, canvas panel, a Phoenix canvas panel, and I just did like just like a little line um, with a watercolor pencil, so just, um, you know, get some color watercolor pencil or water soluble pencils kind of design my front there. <laughs> Um, so just, um, any water soluble pencil and I just kind of put a dot in the middle and then kind of squiggled up and down, um, where the picture kind of squiggled up and down. <laughs> um, so it's just, you know, kind of start at the middle, squiggle up, squiggle down, just kind of, you could kind of put that where you want it to, but just as long as it's kind of in the middle area. Okay, and I'm just going to start with the one inch bright. I did a uh, really easy um, beginner painting last month, I think. Um, uh, mountains, it was mountains, and that was a really easy one too. If I keep doing, if I do more of these, like super easy paintings, I'll probably Put them all on a playlist so that if you're a beginner you can um you know see that playlist of all the you know absolute beginner super easy paintings and then you can kind of move on to the harder stuff once you feel like you're ready for it so i'm just taking some titanium white and vermilion and going back and forth on this upper area the vermilion is transparent, so I'm adding a little bit of white to it, um, so it'll cover better. I won't really show my brush strokes as bad. Transparent colors, I don't know if it's just me, <laughs> or if um, that just, I guess that just, maybe it just happens with transparent colors, but when I'm using a transparent color, it tends to um, show my brush strokes really bad. So I don't know if it's, it could be the paint I'm using as a, thinner paint or that I don't know it could just happen to everyone so I added a little white so it will be streaky and this is really the color of the picture more more like the color of the picture it may have a little bit more yellow in it but to make it super easy it's easier to just use a pre pre-done color and you know add white to it Makes it easy. So this whole month is full of easy paintings. The whole month's going to be beginner stuff. So um, it would, some of them will be, you know, like this one is super, super easy. So definitely a first time painting. And other ones may not be necessarily first time paintings, but more beginner paintings. They, they wouldn't be super hard to do. 
Okay, so I think that's good. I'm gonna rinse my brush out. I don't want, it's got white in it. So if I picked black up now, it would probably turn it like a gray, orange, something, I don't know. I'd turn it more gray than I want. I want it to be dark black. Okay, my water is super orange now. It's like everything around here is orange. <laughs> okay, so when I got most of that out, I can use the black. And I'm just going to put that on the bottom. I'm brushing my palette too. <laughs> If you add some water to it, it'll um, thin it out a little bit and cause your paint to go farther and to go on smoother. Okay, so now I'm going to take the edge and kind of do uh, edges. There's like trees or something back here. You could actually make it look like trees, like if you stippled something in, stipple the black in make it look like trees but you can also kind of make it just like you don't know exactly what's happening back there there's something something happening back there Okay, so we got all that. So I'm going to rinse my brush out and dry it with my hair dryer. Um, that'll just speed up the drying. And um, then we can kind of indicate where we want the cat and um, work on like the sun and things like that. So I'm just gonna rinse this brush out. Okay, and dry it. Okay, so now that this is dry, I'm going to take, let's see, get my chalk. So if you have school chalk, or you could use your water-soluble pencil again, um, something that'll wipe off or disappear as you're painting, um, I'm going to kind of mark where I want the cat so that I can... I won't end up painting it and then be like, ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> okay, so if you mark the middle, it's like just right off from there, just like a little bit. And this ear comes out. And then his head, tip of his head, and then the other ear kind of comes higher a little bit. And then this side of the face right there and then his body kind of comes out a little bit. getting 
getting a little too big here. Let's see. That's why we did the chalk. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to retrace it here. Okay, so so he's uh, you just kind of start from the middle and go over slightly. Um, the head it's kind of like two triangles, the line in between, and then kind of um, rounded. And then his body comes around and down. And his body comes around and down. And then there's a little bit of light peeking through and right in here. And you're seeing the tail. So it's the basic cat there. Okay. So oops. Throat chop. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm going to take my uh, Lunar Blender. I may not even, well, I don't, I don't know, I might use the angle. I was thinking I might not end up needing it, but I, I might end up needing it after all. So um, I'm going to start. By, I'm not going to wet it. I'm just going to use what's here. And I'm going to add a little bit more white to it because um, it's like a little lighter around the cat. It's actually coming out more yellow in the camera than it is on the board. <laughs> so you're actually seeing it a little different than I am. And I'm just going to flick around this outline. And clean up with the um, black later if we need to. Okay, and then there's like a little bit longer hair, the tip of the tail. And then there's some on this side. Clean it up with the black. It's not quite the way I want it. Okay. But before I do that, 
going to work on this. So he's sitting on um, wood. So I'm just going to take this orange and not get a whole lot. I'm going to wipe most of it off. And then I'm going to skim it. Kind of. Look like wood down here. So I can cover that up with black later. I do need that I get too far, I can cover up the two. Take the angle brush and wet it in the water and get just white by itself. And you could draw it in first if you wanted to, I'm not going to, but um, the sun is like, if you mark the tip of the ear, it's going to be right past that in the sky. Okay, so just do a circle. You could also take some kind of like bottle cap or some kind of circular thing and kind of draw around it to make it a perfect circle to give you like a perfect outline for you to do that with. Okay, and I'm just gonna leave that and have to do it another time because you can still see the orange through it. You don't want that. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse that out. And next I'm going to do, get some black, there's like a little, oh, no I guess it's things from trees kind of coming off here. Okay, and just mark some little marks off to the side there. Like, uh, little uh, pieces of trees or something coming off the side. And you could do something on the, this side too, if you wanted to. It almost looks like arms, like some kind of arm, <laughs> if you uh, imagine it that way. <laughs> okay, so I think I could probably take the chalk off, but let me, and before I take it off, let me get the black and do this part of the cat.
Okay, and I saw a few little spots um, that I didn't get with the block. You can kind of cover up. too far and right here you're gonna flick black so it's like you see orange and then the black is flicked right here where the wood came too far just kind of flick that back and you can put like some black streaks or something like in the wood too far. And I think I want to push the back back a little bit. Came out a little too far too. So the black I put here is kind of dry. Um, if it's not, if any of these areas that I end up going over is not dry, then on your canvas, it's not dry, don't go over it because that that's going to make a difference. So here's dry on mine. It's not dry on yours. Dry it with the hair dryer or just wait for it to dry. Okay, and I'm going to get the vermilion by itself. And since it's transparent, I can cover over some of these areas and make them brighter orange. You can also take some really light orange and kind of streak in some lighter spots. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the uh, Lunar Blender again. can't touch that because it's wet up there. Alright, and I'm going to clean up. This really didn't have any orange. I put it there, but it didn't really, wasn't supposed to go there, so that up. Alright, and this could come down further than I did it.
probably do the moon another time. Just make sure you get all of the stuff out of your brush. And do the moon again. To get it covered real well. Got some gray in there. Okay, and give that a second coat there. Okay, so I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to dry it so I can get the chalk off and see what else I need to clean up. Just rinse that out and I'll come back. Okay, so now that it's dry, I, I took the chalk off by um, getting my rag. Um, wetting it just a little bit um, and wiping it off. You still have to be careful though because it's not cured so it can lift like it did right there. So I'm going to get more of my black here. I'm going to get more black with the angle and just that kind of lifted so I'm gonna wipe that up and it's kind of see-through right here so I'm gonna change that okay get the Willows or um, Lunar Blender and get the orange, light orange again and just try to make this as, try to make it not so transparent. Now if I add a little bit more white, like a little lighter, I'm just going to kind of tap it around, around in certain areas on, on him. Careful because it's still wet. And get more of the orange and kind of cover that up. black here and he's actually got a little bit of orange peeking through 
is here. It's just very light because it is through something. His ear is so thin that it's showing light through. Okay, and then I get this brush and white. And I don't have a whole lot. I'm just going to water it down. And as I go further, I'll add more water. Okay, and then I'll go back closer and make it thicker. Okay, and I think I got some orange um, just on my brush, so I'm going to go back and fill that middle in with white. And then I'm going to take that and put it on top of the head. Didn't want it that bright and that much there. Okay. And I can take the bright and just highlight the outside. black and go inside okay and then just to bright brighten those can get this by itself and just certain spots are really and bright. Okay, and then the black. Okay, here we go. I think that's pretty 
pretty good. So, just going to get a little bit more of that orange to put right there. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to sign it. This is a white Faber Castell Fit Artist Pen. And there's a little bit of black there. Right, it's not covered. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of get the ink flowing on it. I do it two or three times just because the ink is kind of see through. Okay, so there's the kitty. And you can um, add something in there like a bird, something like that. Um, to kind of have something happening back there. Like that. I mean, this brush is kind of flared out a little bit, so goes out too far, you can still got black in there, so get all that out. If you add water, it's still wet, you can kind of lift it off, make a mistake. Okay, so there you go. There's the kitty. And so here's um, what we're going to do next week is the hummingbirds. Or not hummingbirds, they look like hummingbirds. They're actually kingfishers. But we're going to be doing the birds and then these two after that. So um, if you enjoyed this, um, you can go to my channel and see some other tutorials that I've done and also the beginner I have several beginner paintings on there so thanks for watching bye